Good evening, and thank you for letting me join with you. We continue reading from the book of James, and again, a theme that we found in the book of Proverbs, of applied wisdom. James uh, gives us some instruction on controlling our tongues and what we say. From chapter 3, Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness, for all of us make many mistakes. Anyone who makes no mistake in speaking is perfect, able to keep the whole body in check with a bridle. If we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we guide their whole bodies. Or look at ships. Though they are so large that it takes strong winds to drive them, Yet they are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great exploits. How great a forest is set ablaze by a small fire, and the tongue is a fire. The tongue is placed among our members as a world of iniquity. It stains the whole body, sets on fire the cycle of nature, and is itself set on fire by hell. For every species of beast and bird, reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by the human species. But no one can tame the tongue, a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless the Lord and Father, with it we curse those who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this ought not to be so. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening, both fresh and brackish water? Can a fig tree, my brothers and sisters, yield olives, or a grapevine, figs? No more can salt water yield fresh. Again, been reading through Dag Hammarskjöld's markings. Uh, one of his one of his paragraphs reads this way: Your position never gives you the right to command. It only imposes on you the duty of so living your life that others can receive your orders without being humiliated. The power of what we say is incredible, and I think what James counsels us to do is to be consistent in what we say and how we live. We should not use our mouths to brag. We shouldn't use the gift of speech to tear others down, those who have been made in, in the image of God. As James reminds us, uh, the tongue is such a small part of our body, and yet when it is untamed, it can lead us into wild territory. Please join together with me in prayer. Lord, for this counsel, for us to be wise in how we use our mouths and our tongues, how we use the gift of language. Give us your wisdom and your spirit. Give us your sense of self-discipline. May we only use speech to build others up, to help instruct them in positive ways, never to berate, never to tear down. As we go to rest this evening, Lord, we ask that you would watch over us. We pray this especially now, uh, as we look into the eye of yet another large storm coming our direction. In the days to come, Lord, we ask that you would keep us all safe and sound. We pray all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Have a good evening.